Important function is key tap on the keyboard. Tap helps to select chain of elements or list them. Now we need to quickly select chain of walls. By using tap we can do it for a couple of clicks. Then how does it work? Uh, look at status bar on the down. Uh, here Revit displays where you point cursor. Our task is to select chain of walls. Let's consider that we need to select all external walls and change their type or offset them. Well, now bring uh, pointer to the wall. Don't click it by mouse. In the status bar, Revit gives information that this is basic wall. Don't click it yet. Then we are able to select chain of walls by single click of key tab. After the chain is marked uh, and holding pointer on the place, click once. Now, chain has been selected. Once again, bring pointer, tap, click to select. OK. If chain is made from several types, uh, there might be need to combine chains. For example, uh, for example, this one or, or, or this one. So, it depends. Uh, this is significant tool for us. The second important aspect when tab may be required is having several elements one above the other or uh, one has been included into the other. For example, we have got a group and we need to pick exact wall to check the type. Uh, if just click it, uh, the entire group is being selected. Now try to click it. Uh, so print point to, to the wall, use tap. Revit is starting to list elements. In the status bar we can see that this is wall. Now click it. And the wall is selected. In case elements are overlapped or for long chains of elements like lines, walls and the its, tap is basically used. Also in the mechanical equipment projects uh, for chains of pipes, tap is really irreplaceable option. And if inside a family there is a nested family, you can pick it by tap as well. Uh, and also use it for file uploaded as a link.